What is a right? You know you're dealing with a fundamental concept when it's difficult to define a word without using one of its synonyms. The strange thing about rights is that though we usually think of them in a positive sense, in reality, rights are comprised of boundaries. Freedom of speech, for example, cannot exist unless boundaries are established which prevent those in power from murdering or imprisoning those who speak out against them. But who is ultimately responsible for upholding those boundaries? You might think that you have the right to your beliefs and to speak your mind, but what happens to those rights when a gang of armed men start moving from house to house, killing or kidnapping those that hold beliefs that they don't agree with? This is a scenario that's unfolded over and over again throughout history. It keeps repeating, not because history has been forgotten, but rather because it hasn't been properly understood. That which we most need to understand often hides behind questions that we don't want to answer. Do those who are being attacked have the right to defend themselves? Do they have the right to the means to defend themselves? Or should they just put their faith in the government? There are those who believe that the government should have the monopoly on violence, that the government should be the only one armed, and that we should trust the government to protect us. There's just one little tiny problem with that position. The gang of armed men doing the killing and the kidnapping usually is the government. It's the governments of the world who have initiated the genocides, the ethnic cleansings, the great mass murders. It's the governments who have systematically exterminated political dissidents. It's the governments who have built the concentration camps and the secret prisons. It's the governments who have always been behind the worst crimes committed against humanity. Human governments have repeatedly demonstrated themselves to be the most bloodthirsty, ruthless, and corrupt organizations on this planet. Even the sickest serial killers have nothing on the state. And yet some would entrust them with the absolute power of life and death over you and your family. That's what's at stake when you give the government the monopoly on violence. Because when the people have no means of defense, the government has no boundaries. Some would sidestep this issue by asserting that what we need is a stronger United Nations, a global government that's capable of keeping the rest of the world in line. But this just underscores a deep misconception. Government attracts tyrants, petty dictators, bullies and psychopaths, like manure draws flies. It always has, and it always will. And the more power associated with the position, the greater the attraction. Government attracts these types of individuals because it gives them an opportunity to exert power over other people. And for icing on the cake, they get a paycheck. What more could a psychopath ask for? Global government is the ultimate power, the power to run the world. So you can rest assured that the crazies will find their way in. And sooner or later, they'll be running it. Then who will protect you? Then who will you turn to? You can't resolve this issue by creating bigger and bigger governmental bodies. You can't buy safety by giving more and more of your power and rights away. The root of the issue is the monopoly on violence. And the solution is simple. No one should be given the monopoly on violence. Humans simply aren't mature enough to deal with that kind of temptation. The counterbalance must be maintained. And the right to self-defense is that counterbalance. The right to defense is the boundary which makes all the rights possible. And it's not just a right, it's a responsibility. We are responsible for protecting our families and our communities. And we don't eliminate that responsibility when we hand it over to someone else. But the right to defense is meaningless without the means of defense. Therefore, the right to own and carry the means of defense is a core human right. As bitter of a pill as that might be for some people, what you need to realize is that if you allow that right to be taken from you when you don't need it, it won't be there when you do.